my scrappy friends, welcome to my channel today. I am doing an, an inspired by video, and today we are inspired by art. So a group of us, if you don't know, do um, this inspired by series, and we're just using different things to be more of an inspiration or springboard to start off with. And last time we did hobbies, and this time we are doing art. And my inspiration art piece is that one that you've seen at the beginning, and that is from Andy Warhol, and it's one of his more popular ones. The uh, uh, one of his most popular uh, pieces of art is the Marilyn Monroe faces, which I thought about using that instead, but I really um, liked this one, and it's kind of up my alley. So. It was kind of hard to pick an art piece though, I will admit. Um, I like so many different kinds of arts, but I really uh, enjoy seeing different people's takes on um, a tropical type of theme of art. So this is really nice and fun and colorful. And if you know me at all or want to know me at all, I love color. <laughs> it is one of the things that make me very happy. So. What I am doing is paper piecing a banana tree because that is going to be one of the major things in my layout or on my layout. And I decided, so <laughs> I thought I had got the part of where I was um, doing the, the rays, if you will. <laughs> all the different triangle patterns, but apparently I didn't. So I um, cut out all of those uh, and I left a little bit of space in between each one so that they weren't quite touching and that it kind of helped it not feel too busy. And I did try to alternate um, patterns that weren't so busy next to ones that weren't <coughs> Uh, super crazy, you know, like just kind of keep it not looking oh so crazy. But I did want to have lots of color and lots of patterns because I don't generally use a lot of patterns like this all together on one layout. And I thought it would just be fun um, to just use all this color. So I sewed down them. Um, when I put them down, so you didn't see that part. And then you see me do that bottom part and then I sewed that. So now I'm outlining this banana tree. I really felt like once I got it on there, it kind of, I mean, it sticks out, but it kind of got lost just a smidge. And I thought that by maybe outlining it, and so you're gonna see me outline the whole thing. <laughs> Um, I thought that maybe outlining it would kind of help it pop out just a little bit more because it is going to be one of the focal pieces of uh, my piece. And if you look at the Andy Warhol, there's that um, big volcano, right? I mean, obviously it's burning out and it's burning lots of color. And I will say, obviously this isn't taking on a doodling and I didn't use any mixed media on it, which is kind of funny. Um, but I thought that by using, using lots of different color, it just was like really inspired me. So I think that it's kind of fun. This was a fun challenge and it ended up being way different than I thought it was going to be. Like I said, I thought I would have used more mixed media, but, uh, if I had <laughs> the patience, I would have hand stitched um, around that banana tree. And all I did was went online and just searched for, um, drawings of banana trees or pictures. And then I just printed it out and then I cut each little piece and then I just trace like cut around it with, um, with my scissors. So I just fussy cut it. And I didn't need to be perfect. I did kind of draw some bananas. So that's why you've seen that banana cluster. Um, and then I did outline around this and I am going to draw some small lines of where the banana tree kind of like the leaves and the stalk come together. And if you've seen a real 
banana tree, you'll know that that is something that you see all the time. And it would have been really fun to do um, the flower of the banana or to have part of the flower from the banana showing, but that's okay. And there, the banana flowers are purple, like a, a deep, deep purple color. That would have been just like really fun. It would have added a pop of color that probably wasn't really on there. <laughs> but so I just kind of I fooled around a little bit because um, obviously when you're piecing it back together, <laughs> it doesn't always fit. And I wasn't sure how much of that uh, Amy Tan uh, paper I wanted to cover up with all the different leaves. So the multi-leaf one. But I really liked how this turned out. So I am using a black and white photo because I figured that since I am using all of this color that a black and white would really lend itself well. Also, this is an older photo and it's one that is um, not mine. So it's not an original. But um, also, my dad had posted the original on Facebook, and Facebook compressed it like it always does, and it just didn't turn out that great. So I find that sometimes, depending on the quality of your photos when you post them to Facebook, if you take your photos from someone else, it doesn't always lend itself for printing very well. So I thought that using a black and white would kind of hide that fact. And I decided to use a black and white border, a stripe, and then I'm going to use like a really faint pink from the Oasis and then that green. But I just have a little bit of that green showing. And that is from the Echo Park Summer Collection. And um, it matches with the that yellow paper and that one with the toucan, which obviously has nothing to do with Hawaii because Hawaii doesn't really have toucans unless people bring them in. But whatever. <laughs> We're just going to forget the fact that it's not geographically correct. Uh, and I'm trying to think what I'm doing at this point because I'm almost oh I decided to pop dot this after I looked at it so I came back the next day because I was not really sure and I was feeling like a little stumped about exactly what I wanted to put on my layout as far as clusters go. So I took some time looking through whoops um my embellishments and stuff and seeing what summer stuff I have. I have a a plastic little like envelope holder thingy that I keep a lot of my older summer themed stuff. So I kind of look through there. I look through some older um Crate paper collections from older summer collections and just kind of tried to pick out some stuff and set it aside so that I could see what I had. So now what I'm working on is the title and I also built this title ahead before I started pressing play because, <coughs> oh excuse me, I wanted to take the time to just kind of work through <coughs> um, what my title was going to be and um how all the letter stickers that I was going to need I would at first when I started I had no idea what I wanted the title to be but I was working on this the night before and <laughs> that song that you hear when you're a kid well, some kids probably don't know it but um it's the Deo song you know um so, but anyway, the phrase, part of the phrase goes, come Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. So that is the name of my title. And I just use lots of different letter stickers and alphas. And I thought that I really like how this part turned out. Um, it's a little crazy. And I did outline that mon because I probably shouldn't have used that one right on the banana tree. But I really like how I use the banana tree to put that that title and it just kind of flows all the way down and I didn't end up losing the space because that was one of the things of building it off I I wasn't sure how much space it was going to end up taking once I started building it I was like oh my gosh this is going to be but it ended up working out really really well so this is one of the things that I think that if you just kind of take your time I mean and so I just heard, I didn't have my camera on and I mean, obviously if you're someone who doesn't scrap, 
who doesn't film yourself, then it's not a problem at all. But you just take your time and you just kind of go through and, you know, I mean, yeah, it might take longer to end up with the layout, the finished layout, but in the end, it'll be worth it. And, and I really don't mind if my layouts take longer if I really like them, right? So it's just frustrating when you just play around with it and then you just don't end up liking it anyway. So I thought about doing having this go summer summer because I really don't care for the phrase that's on there. It says cheeks. Um, but I really like that bright yellow. I mean, it's Amy Tan and so it screams summer, right? Um, so I'm playing around with this. I really like that circle aspect and I really like how it kind of fits over there. It's just a nice little place to have another little embellishment cluster. Uh, but I really... I'm trying to think about what I want to put and I do play around quite a bit and this takes me quite a long time to just kind of build these clusters and figure out what stuff but I kept this all here because I thought that it would be interesting to just see me really deliberating <laughs> about what I wanted to put down. There's I think some of it was I just had so many choices and so I just sometimes when you have too many choices it's it ends up being a little bit more crazy than you would like it to be. But, um, so yeah, sometimes that's why using just one collection is helpful, but I had papers from a whole bunch of different collections. And so I knew that this would be a good thing time to like pull out all my summer stuff and, and all that stuff. So, and to get some of that used up. But I didn't want to go crazy because I have all that pattern up at the top. So I really don't want it to there to be like so much stuff that it just was crazy. So I end up using that pretty little studio banner and it's just a summer magic. And I really like how that looks. The the bright yellow underneath the that greeny color. And that green really helps tie in some of the different greens and blues that I've used. It's just fun. And who doesn't like a script font, right? So I'm just, I'm, I debated about sticking that other sun up at the top. But I, at this point, I was thinking I wanted to have journaling up near that title in that pink area. I was thinking, oh, I'll do my journaling there. Um, because originally I sketched this out kind of beforehand. Sometimes I've been, or I've been doing that lately, just kind of sketching out a rough, rough sketch of what I had in my mind for certain layouts. And I think it's been helping me as far as the fact of that, like I have three different layout designs in my brain that I wanted to try out for different things. And so it just kind of helps me keep, <laughs> keep that information from getting muddled because <laughs> it's really easy to take, um, ideas from one layout that you have and I really try to only do one at a time but lately I've had a few started and it just kind of it can get a little crazy and distracting so I decided to move this piece down to the bottom instead of building it on the side so it's gonna be this little cluster down there and I adhered it with a staple so I kind of had to lift up my photo a little bit and because this is not an original I don't really mind if I staple through my photo but I will say that if you're afraid that you're gonna your staples are gonna rust over time don't staple through your photos I'm not so worried about it if it's really if it really gets that bad I can just reprint so and I knew I wanted to add some more circle elements. There's a few of these in the Oasis collection. And I wanted to add some tags up at the top now. So that's what I'm thinking about. And I really like that bottom cluster with the summer and the Maggie Holmes tag, that yellow. It helps tie in different colored yellows. And I decide to use that and then I so I, I used my ATG and I realized that it had a sticker backing go figure so and this um Echo Park collection had some green little uh like frond things so I use a few of those just throughout just to help tie in from that Echo Park paper that I used though I don't know I think that's my least favorite part of it Maybe just because I used it because I thought they were cute. Sometimes that happens, right? 
and I'm going to use that sticker. I, it is going to move. So I don't get happy with it there. I decide to put it on the photo where there's not a whole lot. So um, <clears throat> this photo is a picture of me when I was about seven or so. It was in 1992. And this was when I lived in Hawaii with my parents. Um, my dad was stationed there. So... Um, when Lonnie, how, how old Lonnie was, well, I didn't live there for very long. I only lived there for about a year, but, um, Lonnie and I were the same age when we were in Hawaii. So I thought that was really cool. But, um, so yeah, so it's a picture, but anyway, in our backyard, we ended up having a banana tree that, um, gave us bananas while we were there. So we cut the bananas down and I think we cut the whole part of the tree down because we had heard from someone who was local that you cut it down but I don't really know if that's true <laughs> now that after living there for a few years I don't really think that that impedes it but whatever that's okay and um so I knew I wanted to add something circle up at the top to just kind of mirror some of the other stuff that I have going on like that summer circle. And so here is where I figure out a way to get some of those tags and stuff in it looking pretty good. In the end, I really like it. And I end up using a heart uh, next to the other heart. So I am almost done. Don't forget to go check out the ladies uh, who are in the challenge. It'll be in the information information box below they are all doing um artwork that they've picked so it's going to be fun and amazing and i hope that you will check us out next month when we do another inspired by video as well i will see you guys later and i hope you have a great weekend bye